The term social distancing and flattening the curve are now words we hear and we say every day. Another important term for us to understand is exponential spread. Here to explain what this means and why it's important is our nine health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley. So what is exponential spread? So exponential spread is a critically important scientific concept. And you can see on the graph back here, it's demonstrated very nicely. So if I were to catch the coronavirus and I were to give it to you, Gary and Natasha, that's three people, each of you would then go home and give it to an average of two to three people. So that's now up to nine people. And then each of those nine people would then give it to an average of two or three other people. So you can see that from one person up to millions of people can occur in just a few short weeks. And if you look behind me here on this graph, you can see very quickly the red bubbles show us exactly how much exponential spread has happened. So China, which was the epicenter of the virus, was the biggest red bubble there mm -hmm. that you see. And now we've got red bubbles all over the world, particularly here in the United States. So in the last less than 48 hours, we've gone from 3,500 cases to almost double. And that is a demonstration to me that we're having exponential spread very rampantly right now. And we really need to work on that social distancing even more than we're doing at this time. Yeah, I mean, this graph like definitely points out Italy. Italy was like such an example of that. Their cases skyrocketed so quickly. Absolutely, and, and but by the time Italy was where we are, they were being very aggressive about containment measures and shutting everything down. And as you heard from President Trump yesterday, we're not there yet in our country. But that's why we as citizens, I think, have to really take matters into our own hands to really prevent this from becoming Italy. Do you think more cities need to do what San Francisco just did? Absolutely. And I commend San Francisco very much for what they did because I think that's setting an example. Having said that, there's a picture from San Francisco this morning where everybody's out running, everybody's out with their dog. And so Again, I just, at the, at the risk of repeating myself, want to remind everybody that this is that window where we can really stop that exponential spread, really flatten the curve. Yes. And if we miss our chance, we may not be able to do that again. And the picture of the beach is going viral today. What was that in Panama or something? A clear water beach in Florida. And it's packed. Yeah. It's like Spring we're telling break. you social distance. What's yeah. happening? And I think it's the young people that I really want this message to resonate with because, yes, you guys are a relatively safe group, but number one, young people have also died. Yeah. Number two, it's your it's your responsibility to the others in the society to really, really distance. And I know it's inconvenient, but I implore you to do so. Yes. Think about older people, your parents, right. your grandparents. All right. So we're getting questions from viewers again today. We're going to be taking them all morning so you can text your questions. This viewer asks, once you get the virus, will you be immune or can you catch it again? Uh, so we think most likely you'll be immune based on the fact that it probably is behaving like every other respiratory virus. But there have been some case reports in China where people have had reactivation of their symptoms or have tested positive again for the virus even after being negative. So we don't know if that's because the immunity has waned or gone down over time or because the virus can mutate. Okay, such good questions from our viewers. Yes. If you have one, Dr. Cole is going to be here all morning answering those questions once again. 303-871-1491. Just text your question over and she'll answer them. Dr. Thank Coley, you. thank you. Mark